Hey there, you're watching Alexa from The Bra Addict. In today's video, we're gonna talk about wire-free bras versus underwired bras, and you will not wanna miss these tips, so stay tuned. Comparing underwired bras to wired bras is like comparing apples to oranges or night to day. They are completely different. It is essential for me to have a great wireless bra in my rotation, at least one or two, because especially with the kind of year that we've had and the sort of wardrobe I've slipped into in terms of like athleisure and loungewear, going wire-free is just so much more comfortable. When I'm going through weight fluctuations or feeling bloated from my period, when I'm running errands and going to the grocery store and I'm wearing a sweater or just a baggier top and when I'm lounging around in my apartment, if I'm not braless, guess what? I'm going wire free. By the way, Honey Love kindly has sponsored this video and provided me a couple of samples of their silhouette bra, which I'm so excited to share with you guys because they follow criteria that I look for in terms of wire free bras. Mm. Wire-free bras are not all made alike. Let us talk a little bit about the Honey Love Silhouette Bra that I have to share with you today. So it comes in five different shades. I have the fig and the black shade. It also comes in sizes small through to 3XL. It's much easier to get fitted in a wireless bra than it is to get fitted in an underwire bra where fitting is much more precise. For instance, in my case, I can fit in a large or a medium, but I might prefer the medium fit. The one size, like the one letter size, is more accommodating to a range of sister sizes. For anyone who is considering 1X through to 3XL, they have an additional boned piece between and below each cup and an extra piece of boning on either side of the bust to help with support because larger cups are going to need more structure and more support. It has removable cups that have a slightly thicker apex and an apex is basically where the nip would sit, meaning that you can have a little bit of modesty in terms of nippy weather. I also really like that underwire free bras tend to come in less overly feminine styles and more minimal styles. I don't necessarily want to be in lace and just super structured all the time. These bras have thin adjustable straps that can be crossed in the back, which is really fun. You have velvet piping on the center and side panels, which is actually really pretty. It helps add to the silhouette of the fit. And it has three hook and eyes, which is super important to me because I don't like wire-free bras that I have to put over my head and not have any ability to adjust the band. Adjusting the band size can make such a difference. If you know anything about hook and eyes, you should always purchase a bra that fits best on the loosest setting. Over time, bras stretch out, so you should always be able to adjust the tightness of the band. The composition of the body and the bra cup is mostly of nylon and spandex and nothing else, which is great because I love me some nylon so much. If you choose to get anything off Honey Love, you can do so and get an extra 10% off with an affiliate code that they provided me, which is Bra Addict 10 I do earn commission from this, but you're helping to support my channel. It's completely up to you if you would like to use it. I also wanted to share with you a couple of clips of how this bra looks under a fitted top so that you can see what it looks like. And I'll also give you a profile view of that as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!